What's up, you two? Sport Party Hut. And uh, I'm in West Memphis. Come on, man. It's lighting on this shit. It's too much. I'm in West Memphis, Arkansas at our yard. You know, it's quite tranquil at the yard in West Memphis. Yeah, get, get, getting our rain washed. For sure. It's kind of nice out. It's in the middle of nowhere. But yeah. It's so, uh, so nothing over there you wouldn't think that, um, there's so much shit on the back on the other side. So yeah, I'm just here, y'all. Um, what happened is my truck came out of the shop. I was down for two days. A lot of bread got low. But shit happens. It's part of the game. Trucks go go down. Okay? And machines. They break down. So it's down for two days. And um I got back up and took off like a fucking fool. And I ran hard and I mean I got some good miles in. I think I still ended up with being not too far, maybe 750 miles off of being at 6,000. And I thought I was going to be able to kick ass today, but when you run hard and heavy, people, and you know, not all of you are going to run hard and heavy. Because, you know, not everybody's going to be able to put that, put that real work in. But I want to show you something. This is what I'm talking about run, run hard, get paid. These are the clocks, all right? Nobody's never told you about the clock. Let me see. Can you see that? Can you see that? These are your clocks. You have four o'clock, eight hour clock. But then this first eight hours of driving, you have to take a mandatory 30 minute break. Of course, you know, you got your total 11 hours of driving after. You only go get eight to start out with. So your clock will start off with eight hours. All right? After you take that 30 minute break, you'll get those additional hours that's left. Whatever little breaks you took or whatever hanging over will be with that three and that will be on the back end so when you start running this first eight hour clock that was fucking me up at first when you see the time steadily go down when you stop and you hit off dude and you're going down just keep in mind because it's running down that straight eight hours it's not going to stop just like this 14 is not going to stop this is your total on duty hours which means 11 hours to drive you got 14 on duty hours extra three hours fuel and stops all that other shit but here's the total hours you got to work, and this is all I have to work. Of course, I got eight hours available, I hope all clocks is ready, but my 70 is burnt. I got four hours and 32 minutes, and I recap the night. Uh, recap the night, seven hours and seven minutes, and then I can recap 12 hours. And I'm, I'm Gucci after that, but I was trying to get it in, because Saturday is the last day we can get in for payroll. Today is Thursday, so I'm basically chilling all day today, which is cool. When you're running real hard and heavy, you you can afford to chill. Cause I mean, I, I ran I, on this on this paycheck here. I got two Brooklyn runs with fifty dollar pay each time for going in New York. So that's two Brooklyn runs with an extra hundred dollars plus the extra stops. That's an extra one hundred and fifty dollars right there on top of that. I was to get paid for my truck being down in two days, so I I, lost, I I didn't get it paid as much as I would if I'd have ran. But I get something instead of like a fucking goose egg, so. That's cool, it's not a goose egg. Uh, I'm down here in West Memphis, I look and see that I was overdue for my PM. So I got a PM, my next PM. For those of you who don't know, preventative maintenance, I got a PM and uh, right now I'm getting Irene washed. And hopefully it's, she's finished getting washed by the time I'm through with this video so I can let you see how she look. Oh yeah, another thing I want to touch on, I will be not, um, don't put my name on any more applications to come to Abilene. Yeah, I've been embarrassed a couple times. One guy said, give your application. My boss hit me back and said, oh nah, he got arrested in June. Bet you didn't tell you he got arrested in July. I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed. I'm like, oh, I apologize. Da -da -da. Another guy, Motor vehicle record was all fucked up with his motor vehicle record. He had like five or six uh, suspended license charges or whatever. Another embarrassment. So, I mean, going back to what I originally started with, which I should have stood with, you find your own spot. Uh, don't put my name on any more apps. 
I've already called the office and let them know there will be no more names on any apps because I got two people who are here and I put my name on the apps and I'll tell you something about me, man. Uh, I don't want nobody to be here that's going to make me look bad. Yeah, because uh, this is my job. This is how I eat. And I take pride in the work that I do, so you can go fuck off somewhere else or come to Abilene on your own recognizance without my help. Because uh, I'm, I'm all set with that. That's that's over with. Don't ask me about coming to Abilene or none of that. Because people keep asking me and they're not serious. I'm going to tell you some stipulations. Only if, only, only, and I'll say this on only if you're already a driver. We're good, dog? All right. I ain't in your way right here, is it? Huh? I ain't in your way right here, is it? No, I ain't. <laughs> Alright, appreciate it, bro. Let me know Irene cleaned up. I'm gonna go out there and let y'all show y'all Irene before I close the video out. Got my baby washed up. PM, got it washed up. What I'm about to do right now, I put in my coordinates for uh, Walmart. I got some tacos back there I'm fucking with. Show what kind of sales I fuck with. Wanna see what kind of sales we got back in the road. You know what's up? Something, something big, something. It's... Damn it, hit my head. You see those? They got the ranch. The ranch shells today. I had the cheddar cheesy one yesterday. I don't know. And since I'm not moving, uh, y'all know my favorite shit is the cooking stew beef. I'm gonna go ahead and probably throw some stew beef in the pot. I'm gonna shoot on over to Walmart and grab it. I don't know, really. I might not even shoot the Walmart right now. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go park my truck and get my TV and shit on and watch a movie, man, and relax, man. I remember this guy tried to tell me, he was like, uh, I posted a video of uh, me and Kiwi, we had to grill out, and he was like, oh, you got no time to have a grill if you run it. People, listen, my truck was broke down for two days. I still got 5,300 and something miles, 5,300 miles. And some of that is like 40-something plus cent a mile. So it's still over two bands in two weeks, pretty much close enough to it. So you tell me, do I have the time? I'm out of hours. Ain't nothing I can do. Four hours, ain't nowhere I can go. That's because I run hard and heavy, though. Like, I got a load to Mississippi yesterday, 899 miles. It would come up and it ended up being 932 fucking miles that delivered yesterday at 8 o'clock at night. Before I got there, she sent me an end call to come on to the yard, which is another 200 miles to the yard, and go ahead and drop that trailer. Now, some people would be like, oh, man, uh, picked this load was yesterday. No, I picked the load up day before yesterday. Yesterday was Wednesday. I picked the load up Tuesday. I had delivered Wednesday in Mississippi, which was yesterday. 932 miles. Dropped it yesterday, and she sent me the 200 miles, 210 miles to the yard over here. Now, some people, like, oh, I don't really get that hours. I'll wait and do it tomorrow. No. No, you don't put off for tomorrow what you can do today. You run that shit out. You got 11 hours to fucking drive. You need to try and drive as much of that as you can. When it's time to get this money, you get 800 miles or 900 miles, run the motherfucker as far as you can the first day. Don't be like, you know what? I got a 900-mile trip. Let me do 454 tomorrow. You got to think some traffic could happen, accident, all that. You got to be prepared for that. So get the load and get to your destination, people. Because listen, man, not delivering loads on time, that's what you get paid to do. That's the quick way to get yourself fired, okay? Missing appointments, they charge them. Some of, our, some of these spots I go to, if you late, they charge the company money. You're costing the company money. When you start to accumulate fees and you're costing, you're tearing up trucks and shit, you're getting out of here. You get, they're not playing. Just had a girl, she comes, she ripped the fairing off the side of the truck. You got to go, man. It's money involved, people. It's nothing personal, so don't take it personal. Don't get your panties in a bunch. Don't, oh, they did it to me. No, it's not about you. This is fucking business, man. And if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. If you costing me fucking money, I'm getting you out of here. Okay, the name of the game is to make money. I make money. My company makes money. Receivers happy. Everybody's happy. Everybody gets a piece of the pie. But if you're constantly 
costing your company money, they're going to fire you. Okay? See, I think a misconception, a lot of people come in and say, oh, yeah, truck driver, go get a lot of money. Da -da -da. No. The ones that are going to get paid out here are the ones who run hard. The ones who know how to do their job. Because trust me, a lot of people enjoy e laws because it gives them a reason to be lazy. Oh, yeah, I can't do that amount of time. And they make ways to make themselves out of time. Instead of using the clock wisely, they use the clock to fuck off. You can either utilize your clock to get money or you can use it to fuck off. The choice is yours, man, but I would suggest if you want to play games, don't come out here. This is not a place to play games. Really, this is serious business here. The name of the game is getting paid. Everybody won't get paid. The companies, the drivers, the shippers, the receivers, everybody want to get paid. Who was that? Shane goes. Must be somebody from YouTube. Well, listen, we're, we're done with the job thing. Don't come at me. If you are not a felon and you have a CDL and you're interested in coming, call me. But if you are a convicted felon and you're interested in coming, please know that we have to have some criteria first, okay? We're going to need to have five years with no arrest. If you've been arrested in the last five years, don't even waste my motherfucking time, people. I'm telling you, because this is what I'm going to do. Now, I'm serious about helping people. And what you're doing if you've been arrested in those first five years and you call me, you're in the way of somebody who could really use my help. So stop being in the way, man. We done talked several times about in the way ass motherfuckers. Don't be in the way, okay? Stop being in the way, man. Like, if you've been arrested in, in the last five years, don't even give me a fucking call. There's nothing I can do for you, I'm telling you. Convicted felon, everybody, the best I can do is five years. Nothing. You need to have five years or nothing. If you don't have five years or nothing, I suggest you go work somewhere until you get that five years. Because there's nothing happening. You may be able to find something, but I'm telling you, as far as I know, and, and, and the policies and procedures over here at Abilene, it's not happening, man. It's no magic I can work for you, none of that shit. And with that being said, I just gotta go to whatever it said. We're not we're not taking we're not taking no. I'm not I'm not putting my name on shit. I had somebody holler at me say he was interested. He's been driving for three years, this and that. All right, cool. If there's anything I can tell you, anything you want to know, bro, hit me up. You know, any questions you got about the company, hit me up. But I'm not here to be a spokesman for Abilene. What Abilene do is Abilene do. I got a job here. I got responsibilities here. That's what my job is here at Abilene, not to get you to come in. So I really would rather you, uh, I'm going to tell you something else. Somebody else may be interested in helping you out to come in if you you want somebody to help maybe be able to work with you. Her name's Tracy Bird. Okay, you can look her up on Facebook. Tracy Bird, she'll help you. Uh, she may have more pull than me. You can run that shit by her, man. But I'm Benito. I'm not a fucking recruiter. I don't have a campaign banner for the company. I'm just telling you this is my this is just my experience being a rookie out here getting money and Everybody's experience is going to be different. You could come over here in Abilene and you might not like it like I like it. It's about what works for you. What works for me is I don't have... See, a lot of you are going to have separation anxiety. Oh, I don't want to leave my girl. I don't want to leave my kids. I have no little kids. My baby's 14. My oldest is 21. I have no teeny kids. Uh, I, I can move the fuck around. And I love being out here in a different state, waking up in a different state every day. But that's me. Okay? I don't really take off. The reason I make the money I make because I don't really take days off, man. You know, y'all want to come home and go home every three weeks, every two weeks. I don't really take time off. See, I strategically take days off. If I know, I'll be like, okay, well, get me a load here, and then I'll take a day off after I deliver that load, and then I'll be ready to go the next day. I don't really take time off. There's really no point in it. Not right now. I'm trying to do something. And see, that's not going to work for everybody. So, my thing is... Really know what you're getting yourself into before you sign up and say, you know, I'm going to be a truck driver because it's, it's a lot of shit to it. And people, you know, everybody wants to come in and think you're going to go local. Like, fucking miss me with that. Like, I don't know how the fuck you think you're going straight to the top. They don't give a fuck about you local because it's a thousand motherfuckers who've been out here way longer than you, way more experienced, way better, and they're going to be first. 
with the local shit. Local not gonna fuck with you till you come out here and put some blood, sweat, and tears in doing this OTR. So miss me with all that and miss me with the bitching about OTR. I really don't want to hear it. Like, this is, this is work for you, motherfuckers. This is passion for me. I enjoy the job. When I, when I, I, I turned the corner in New York, man, dude was like, yeah. I get off on this shit. I like this shit. I love this shit, man. This shit runs through my veins, so. I, I, I'm the bitching and crying, like, I really don't want to hear it. You gotta, you gotta come into this shit. If you're not gonna come into this shit with a good attitude, you might want to go somewhere else because it's gonna be some bullshit. I have a fucking shitty attitude, but I just love this business so much, man. And I understand business. Like, you can't, I can't act a donkey in certain Motherfuckers, you can't do that, man. You know, you, just, you gotta conduct yourself, man. You gotta conduct yourself. You gotta be able to move amongst different circles, man. You know how to conduct yourself. You, like the girl, the, 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 the sister I seen at Walmart was out there acting a donkey out there. The white folk were looking at her laughing, man. It's just us as color folk. We gotta, we, we really gotta step our motherfucking game up, man, because everybody be watching, man. Even with me driving this truck out here when I go to Shepherds and even at the job, backing up and truck stops, everybody's watching, man. Everybody's gonna watch you too. Be on your shit. Fuck them. Know what's going on, but be on your shit. If you're not going to come out here and take it seriously, don't even come out here, man. I can't even stress that enough. Don't even come out here because I don't, we don't need no more assholes out here. We got enough of assholes out here. The other day I pulled in a truck stop. Somebody shit it in a bag and threw it outside. He, we got a truck. She was like, it smells like cow shit. I was like, yeah, it smells fucking crazy. And I look, it's a bag of shit on the ground and a piss bottle. Like, come on, come on, for real. And if you're watching and you're from another country and you're coming over here, the cutting the hole in the bottom of the truck and shitting through the hole, we're not with that over here, man. Mechanics not with it, we're not feeling that. You, you of all people, need to, people from other countries, you coming over here to drive truck, you need to watch these videos and understand what's going on because you're fucking up. White earbuds in your ear, it's a no-go. No CB hanging, that's a no-go. That's a no-go. You don't got no CB. You're not respecting the road. You're pissing us to fuck off, man. Really, you you making it fucked up out here. People, to all my Latinos, African Americans, please. Caucasians, please. Youngsters, I should say the youngsters. Don't have those stupid fucking white earbuds in your ear, dick. Because if you hit anything, you off the rip. You're not focused when this is in your ear. That'll work in the car, but it won't work up here. Too much going on. Take this shit the fuck out your ear. And my man wanted to do a video on the CB. Y'all know I love the CB. God damn it, every time I get a chance to show it, it's going to get shown. Okay? Straight up. You asked me what channel to turn to on the CB. And you'll see exactly where it's at. I don't know if y'all can see that. But that's channel 19, 19, and sometimes 21. But the it, universal channel is 19. You know, down, westbound. You need that CB, man. I don't give a fuck what nobody tell you, man. It's a tool of the, of the job. You need it. Don't let nobody tell you nothing else, man. Just think about it. You out here in the world with the truckers. I want y'all to see how rain she cleaned up. Look at my bitch. Look at my bitch. The rims. Yeah, I got work on them myself. Could be better, but she cleaned up. Look at her body on my gas. That's the Brooklyn scratch. Not mad about that. See the Brooklyn scratch? Yeah. Fucking pissed about it. Look at Irene's dream, though. And remember these people. I don't know if y'all can see. See yeah. These glad hands, mine was hanging a little low. Slid him up in this. It'd be all for that, you know? Off my tank. Watch all that shit, people. 
like I told you. Why my frame man? He ain't spray nothing on the frame. That's something I can do myself though. He got my bitch cleaned up. Y'all see how I ran the Ain't she sexy? Ain't she sexy? That girl sexy, boy. That's our ring, baby. That's our ring. Uh, I ring the dream, baby. I ring the dream. The frame ain't sparkling, no, no. But I can wipe my frame down myself. Probably do that when it cool off a little bit this evening. I go by there and wipe my frame down and shit. Shit like that. Like I said, man, I'm into this shit. I love it. I'm about to, I uh, was gonna shoot on over to Walmart right now. But, uh, I got my tacos back there. I'm gonna heat that up. And I'm gonna bust up some tacos, man. And watch me a movie. Man, that's about it for, for right now. Y'all be safe. Stay sucker free. It's your boy Party Hard.